Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below. Welcome back, YouTubers and Madden fans. This is Madden Money Shot sniffing out the Madden cheese as always. I got part two of my pistol playbook, pistol formation, pistol weak slot flex. This formation right here, I tried. I didn't. I couldn't find it anywhere else in the game. I'm pretty sure that this particular formation is so glitchy that they took I thought they took it out of the game maybe last year or the year before that um, it was such a good formation it was slightly different than it is now but it was such a good formation I used to use it out of either the Atlanta playbook I'm pretty sure it was the Atlanta playbook uh, where it was just such a nasty a nasty glitchy uh, toss play uh, which I showed in the first video I'll try to pop a link for the first video if you didn't see that it's a slight setups outside of pass play in there it was a two-part uh, video so if you want to check that out make sure you do that I always lead with the best plays uh, but this next you know set of plays is is just as good so we're gonna try to go one run one pass uh, pretty much all these this whole formation I can make plays out of pretty much everything uh, that you see here I, I love just about every play um, that's on this uh, with the exception of maybe like one or two other than that I mean I'm not gonna show like the F lead read option there's nothing really special there but this is just a really good really good formation and uh, it's probably the only reason that I would ever use the pistol playbook I'm not there's a couple of good formations in here as a whole uh, but realistically it doesn't really have the variation that I want there's like there's no gun plays there's no you know I, I need a little more variation than the pistol but somebody asked me to try to check this out and I'm glad I did because I love this formation so let's go and let's pick uh, the first play in part two I'm not even really sure uh, which one's my second favorite play uh, but we'll go ahead and we're gonna we're gonna run a, a run play first we'll start with the power option so this particular play and this particular formation is really unique in the way that this tight end slash fullback whatever you want to call him uh, will change his blocking pattern based off of whether or not you motion him out which I think is really really awesome so if you want to take a wide angle leave him in the backfield and he actually takes a much wider angle if we had a mobile quarterback son if we had a mobile quarterback son oh and he gets to the oh you know what i'm gonna say it's a touchdown give me give me a break that's ridiculous yeah i promise you i'm really not trying to take off with nick Foles, but they keep tackling my running back so there we get the nice pitch and he couldn't quite get to the edge it's all good though it's a really big game regardless that's what I want to do. That's why I have my speed back out there and I'm not a fast quarterback. But you know what? You really have to read it. Like right there, you take the running back, you got to just take it up inside with big old Nick Foles and get that five yards. It is what it is. But this is a really good speed pitch. And there we keep taking the running back. Nick Foles, man, he's going to lead the league in rushing next year for whatever team he plays for, I swear. But just imagine if you have like a Cam Newton or something like that. As we get another, another big run by Nick Foles. <laughs> I can do it all, man. Nick Foles, all the way. He's look at this. Look at this. Look at the running lanes I'm getting for Nick Foles. Man, look at Nick. Nick Foles is just like he's just possessed. So here we go. This is the play that I want. I get the ball out to my speed guy, and it looks like we're gonna be gone, but not really, because for whatever reason they're catching up to me. But it's whatever. Yeah, regardless of whether or not you're keeping with the quarterback or flipping it to the running back, that was a that was a swift little flip right there. I didn't really finish the play, but it's all good. But regardless, regardless of whether you keep it or you flip it, I'm getting pretty good gains every time. I mean, look at this, man. I mean, to an extent, it looks like I could break 100 yards rushing with Nick Foles. Like, that's how ridiculous this is. To an extent, I'm almost getting more yards, it seems, at times with Nick Foles. Like, look at this. Like, if I had any speed, he'd be gone. Like, this is ridiculous. I mean, the blocking is ridiculous. Like, right there. Look at, look at the blocking. I'm running with a quarterback who's like the speed of a lineman, and I'm getting good yards. So just imagine how cheesy this could be with a cable running QB, uh, whether you got like Michael Vick or something like that online. So let's go ahead and let's move on to the pass play. So we're going to move on. I got two more pass plays and a run play. I don't know if I'll stuff them all in this video or not, uh, but we're going to go ahead. We're going we're gonna to give it our best. So we're going to go on next to the post wheel. So we're going to pick that. This play right here, you know, it's got some unique capabilities with, uh, with Barner. At all. I mean, if you motion him out, um, he, he has an opportunity to get open right away in the flats. Uh, you can see right there, he just gets separation. I don't know what kind of coverage that was. So that's something uh, that I would say realistically probably only works in a cover three or cover four. I mean, they just don't really react to him there. As you can see, he just, it's just, I don't know, it's pretty glitchy. You know what I mean? It's like he just gets open. So, like I said, against a cover two, I don't, I don't know if that's going to work. That especially won't work against a hard flat. Won't work against the man. But for whatever reason, they're just giving him that space and then he's dropping the ball anyway. But it's all good. So that's something really unique about this play. But this is not necessarily... Well, it looks like we've got a man coverage here. This is not necessarily how I want to do it, though. Um, as you can see here, it's just it's just extreme glitch. They don't even see him out there, basically. <laughs> that's that's this, this is the invisible man right now. 
Uh, I'm waiting for cover two to mess this up, but I haven't seen it yet. They're just giving him ridiculous respect. I mean, that's just glitchy as hell. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, just let him go, bro. Just let him cover himself. And it's instant, too. That's one of these things. Whenever you have these glitchy type of routes, you really want those routes to be instantly. They want You want them to work instantly. Like, it's just... That's crazy how easy that is. So I'm not gonna do that anymore, though. I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna leave that just like that. Um, although that's always my option. I I can motion him out because realistically, all I'm gonna do with the rest of this play is put the Ertz here on a drag, so he kind of comes open underneath. But I can work Jeffrey and Tory Smith over here quite a bit too, um, and it's that's a really good route combo right there. That particular, I could have went to either one right there. That's how that was. But you can also motion out Burton. This is something that I've done quite a bit here. Motion him out, put him on a streak. Uh, I would say in this scenario, just put uh, put the running back on a pass block, and uh, totally messed that up. I messed up everything there. But uh, put the running back on a pass block, and then you still want to put Ertz um, in a in a uh, streak like that. You just want to, or not streak, <laughs> a drag, whatever. So yeah, you want to keep putting him in that drag. And you're going to see how, you know, this is just, you have your, your, your streaking tight end now. I mean, that's just cover three beer. It's going to be, be a problem all day. <coughs> so, a couple different things you can do right there. But obviously, if you motion over the tight end, you can't motion over the running back. So, uh, but it's really up to you. I mean, you can see they're both pretty good. Both pretty good options. I got to be honest, I want to see this running back one more time. I mean, that's glitchy as hell, man. If you put Burton, you can still put Burton on the streak there, too. I mean, he's still going to be right at that cover three scene. And then you have, I mean, that's a blitz, but good Lord. I mean, that's just, just like stealing, really. So this definitely right here is one of the glitchiest things I've seen in a minute. Um, we're going to do it one more time. I mean, this is just like stealing. Oh, my God. Like, oh, no. Oh, no. All right, so we're going to move on. Yeah, this is a phenomenal play. I mean, I didn't even really get to mention um, how good of a flat route Jeffrey is because he's not a better flat route than the uh, than the running back. You know what I mean? The, with the running back motioned out, so I haven't even really gone his way. But if you are going to the receiver side, Jeffrey and Smith are just are just money in the bank. I mean, you just just pick your poison. Like one of them gets open every time. You know what I mean? Like right there, I had to pass the outside, but um, you can you can split this up to just Jeffrey and Smith, and one of those guys is gonna get open pretty much every time. And this guy right here, if you motion out this tight end, he's just a great cover three play. And then once again, I mean, Jeffrey to the sideline is just, it's just money all day. Uh, other than that, I'm gonna go ahead and end this second video. Uh, if you guys wanna see part three, do me a favor to like button, I'll do that. If you guys want me to work on any other uh, unique playbooks like West Coast or uh, Run Balance, whatever, let me know in the comment section uh, because I took this from the comment section and I couldn't be happier uh, with what I found. So other than that, that's it. Thanks for watching, man. My shit out. Need more help or just wanna show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team where you can get exclusive content like eBooks and bonus plays as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below.